It was like, it put my store into like. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies. I think I should say, hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. So I thought I was done for today. I already put out my video and I sent out offers and this is what happened. So in the video earlier today, my reseller vlog, I was, um, talking about how many offers I needed to send out and how I had been neglecting sending out offers. And I think, I want to say it was over 150. And I've just been putting it off. I just haven't had time. I'm just swamped. <laughs> like I last night I was listing like a machine. I was up until I think close to 2 a.m. listing. I'm just trying to get stuff listed so that I can put out some Goodwill Benz videos. I was telling you guys that in another video. But tonight I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do in bulk where I send my listings um, or my offers in bulk. I'm not going to do that. And if you don't know what that is, um, I had it in a recent reseller vlog. And this is the reseller vlog. You can go over and check that out. I'll link it down below. And it shows you how to send out offers in bulk with a percent and also send a coupon at the same time for future use, which is really cool. That's a great feature. I wish from the app that we had that same option to be able to send a coupon at the same time we send the offer. So if anybody from eBay is listening, we would love to have that feature. Okay, so anyway, I decided to do them manually from my phone and you're not gonna believe what happened. Let's pull some orders. All right, so today I released my video early, a little bit early and I did a premiere. And for some reason, you guys aren't watching. So go watch my video from earlier today. Do you guys like the reseller vlogs? Let me know down in the comments. Because if you guys don't like these, like, I can do something else for you. But anyway, at the end of that reseller vlog, I talked about this guy who came out of the reseller box that Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger bought me from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. This guy sold for, I think, $18.60. I'll pop up a screenshot. So he did not get listed in round one because he sold right at the end of the video and I just threw him in at the end. So I'm getting ready to ship him, but wait until you see what sold all within like an hour of me sending offers. It was like, it put my store into like, I don't know, everybody's like accepting offers or counter offering or just buying the items. It's crazy. I mean, it's not like crazy, crazy, but it's a lot of sales. I'm super excited about it. So nothing crazy big money, but let me show you what sold. All right, so this item has been listed for a while, lights on. And I'm actually surprised because I haven't, I feel like listed at a really good price. It sold for $18.59 plus shipping. So let me show you what it is. You guys, all of these Disney dolls, $18.59 plus shipping. What a deal, right? I don't know why this took so long to sell, but anyway, somebody finally scooped it up and I'm super excited about it. So I'm gonna get these off to their owner. Um, you guys can check out my eBay store if you want. I do have a link down below in the description of the video. And down there, there's also a coupon code, Bolo Buddies. If you use that at checkout, you will get a discount. I can't remember what I put the discount at, but um, it is linked down um, below and it tells you what the discount is. Now, that discount code cannot be used with offers, but it can be used with my sales. You just put that code in when you check out and you should be good to go. And you guys, no pressure to buy from me. I'm just letting you know the coupon codes there. I have around 7,000 items listed in my eBay store with um, multiples. Like I have a lot of listings that have um, multi-quantity from clothing that I did a long time ago. So I have a lot of stuff listed. So if you want to check it out, awesome. But again, I'm not trying to sell you guys stuff. Just know that that coupon code is there if you want to check it out, okay? We are heading over to Tote L, and this is something that I picked up in a toy box from Auctions for You. This is her YouTube channel. She sells to resellers. Go and check her out. I will have her link down below. And let me show you what I sold. This is a good one. All right, it's somewhere in here. It's somewhere in this box. Where is it? Hmm. 
Where are you hiding? That's a little odd. Oh. Interesting. This is Tote L, right? Tote L. Oh boy. Okay, I was starting to panic. And then I saw this right here. And it was hidden in here with these other items. I sold these Fisher Price Little People, vintage people, all of those for $40. And those came out of a toy box from Auctions for You. One thing that I said I wanted to focus on um, during the end of February and March is getting more items cross-posted. I have been slacking a little bit. So at the end of the video, I'm going to cross-post some stuff if you guys want to stick around and see how I use this perfectly to cross-post. Um, if you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies and get 30% off your first month. That is Bolo Buddies, all one word. Hang out, stay to the end, check it out. And if you're not digging it, then you don't have to do it. If you think it's pretty cool like I do, then you have a coupon code. All right. So I think that might have been one that I sent out an offer to. I don't know. I sent out so many offers and then people were counter offering and then I was just getting sales. So it was like crazy. I don't know if me sending out all these offers like triggered something in the algorithm or if everybody just woke up and decided to shop. But I don't care. I'm happy. I'm super happy for the sales. Also in the reseller vlog earlier, I talked about yard sales and dreams and the major Barbie score. And we talked about how to identify uh, different types of Barbie clothing, things that you should show when you're listing Barbie clothing and stuff like that. But yard sales and dreams just put out um, an unboxing or I guess I would call it um, a more detailed haul video. So go check it out here and um, let's look at what I sold. All right, this next item is a bread and butter. It sold for $9. It is also a Fisher Price item. And again, I'm not sure if I sent an offer or if they sent an offer, but it sold and I'm excited. And it all happened while I was sending offers. So let's take a peek at what this item is. I gotta tell you guys, um, sales were kind of taking a, a but I wasn't listing. I wasn't listing as much as I should have been. And um, I've started listing again, and I will see. I I will say that I am seeing an uptick in sales. So I do think that listing is important, but I also have noticed that a lot of the new items that I'm listing are selling. So new items and old items selling equals more sales. Okay, I think it's right here. It's this Fisher Price Vintage Eagle. Let me get this open. This Fisher Price. It's an eagle. This came out of a thrift store toy box, a mystery box from a thrift store. Um, definitely don't pass these by. They are vintage and harder to find items. I got $9 plus shipping for this. Okay, I dug this next item out of the bins and it's not something that I typically source because honestly, I'm trying to find the tote. I've never um, even knew that Starbucks made one of these. Let me see if I can find it here while I'm chit-chatting with you. Um, I have been trying to pick up things other than toys um, because I know a lot of you, you don't care about toys. So to keep it interesting, I grabbed this. I feel like I'm doing a commercial. And this is what I sold. Um, this is a Starbucks water bottle and it's got like this cool like rubbery sleeve over it. Never seen one. Super cool. Uh, I took a best offer or I sent an offer of $10 on this and the buyer paid shipping. Um, it is going to have to go priority mail. It's pretty heavy. It is glass. Have you guys ever seen this? Starbucks. Pretty cool, right? Okay. Earlier in the video from earlier today, I talked about who I thought was a viewer buying from me and they just came back to my store and bought something else. Now they haven't paid yet, but I know they're going to pay because they are a repeat buyer and have bought from me, I think three or four times now. So if you're watching and you are indeed a viewer, thank you so much. I appreciate your purchase. Okay, so this item is over in tote one. Tote one. I'm whispering because my husband is right above me and he says he can hear me. Um, I think this is it right here. So I'll pop up a screenshot because I already have it bubble wrapped. I sold this for $12 plus shipping. 
my husband gets up and goes to work early in the morning and I'm a night owl. So here I am shipping and he's in bed. So I have to be quiet when I'm over by tote one. <laughs> okay. So, um, $12 plus shipping. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I will pop up that screenshot of what it looks like. All right, this next item, it sold for, my hair looks wonky. Um, <laughs> I sold it for $13.64, lights on. Plus uh, shipping, we are back in, uh, what do I call this? My letter room. And I just listed this and you guys are gonna see this in one of my Goodwill Benz videos. If I ever get one out, <laughs> I'm working really hard, you guys. So this um, life jacket was not listed very long at all. Um, did I sell it for big money? No, I sold it for $13.64 plus the buyer paid shipping. And I am thrilled with that. This thing weighs like, I don't know, eight ounces. It, it can't be much. So super excited about this sale um, because it was fast and I love fast sales. All right, Bola Buddies. So one of my goals is for the end of February and March is to cross post more. So I decided I'm going to do some of my scratch and sniff stickers. I want to get those from eBay over to Poshmark and Mercari. So let's go ahead and screen share. And I've already got my scratch and sniff pulled up. I've already put some of them over there, but you can see PMMC let me just double check something here. Okay. PMMC means that it's already there. So I'm going to click this button right here. I've already got list perfectly installed. So I am ready to go. I have the business plan so I can bulk cross post. So I'm going to click on this button. This is just for me. This is not something you have to do, but I want to know which items are on which platforms. I'm adding this to Poshmark and Mercari. So I'm just going to update my custom SKU right now before I transfer anything over. So um, if you list to the catalog, you can do all of this in the catalog. I do have a video that shows you how to list into the catalog. For me, these items have just been listed to eBay and I'm gonna cross post directly from eBay to Poshmark and Mercari. If you wanna learn about the catalog, I will link that video down below. I highly recommend it, but I am not using it right now. So. Um, there's lots of features that I am missing out on by not using it. So definitely check out that other video. All right. So let's just do a handful of them right now. So I've got six of them. So after I have highlighted them and added that they're going there, I'm going to click on Mercari and Poshmark. I just did some. So um, it's already highlighted. And I'm going to hit processing. And now it is going to pull up here in my, uh, I don't know, this bar up here. It's going to pull up the tabs for both Poshmark and Mercari. So um, if you have the basic plan, you can only do one at a time. So I could do the first listing and take it to Poshmark and Mercari, but I could not do six at the same time. Um, I can do up to as many as I want really at the same time, but I'm just going to do six to keep it simple for the video as a demo. I know, I think it depends on your internet, how many you can do at a time, but I, I think there for a while I was doing between 20 and 30 at a time, which is 60 tabs pulled up at once because I'm putting it on two platforms. So it depends on what your internet can handle. I guess. I'm not really sure how all of that works. Okay, so they're already pulled up and ready to go for me. Now, I have to add in the tags. And what do you guys think? Uh, for those of you that use um, Mercari, do you think the tags are important? Because I'm so tempted to not use them. I, I just don't know when people actually use the tags. All right, so what do I want to do here? I guess just stickers. Um, they And these are... Uh, they're not used. Oh, this is tricky. What would you guys do here? Because they're new without tags, but they don't have the original packaging and it's not complete. So I guess I'll just put good here. Would you guys have put new without tags? I ship on my own. Um, that's just what I do. I'm going to change this to 125 so that I can do markdowns and send offers. So now this item is up on Mercari. Now you're wondering, why am I pricing these stickers so high? Because I have done my research and these are harder to find scratch and sniff, okay? So I'm going to put this under kids, hmm, I guess toys. 
I don't know. I feel like these are adult collectibles, but I'm not really sure what to put it under. Hmm. I'm just going to do other, I think. And it's just going to be boys one size for this. I'm going to put no. Uh, I can add the color here, orange and black. Don't really need to do that, probably. I mean, people are going to just probably look up scratch and sniff and find my item. I'm going to put 125 over here also for the same reason. Okay, so that is now listed. This is so easy. Okay, so now we're on the next one. And this one is a, a sandwich. So I'm going to put sandwich, scratch, and sniff. And that's the reason I asked. Do I really need these hashtags? Because this is what takes the longest. So stickers, good. Ship on your own. I'm just going to do 125. And people can make me offers. I can send offers. I can do price drops. And that one is ready to go. So now we're over here at Poshmark. We're going to do the same thing. Kids, other. Oh, you know what? What if we did? Let me go back to all categories. What if we did home? office arts and crafts let's try that for some of these and we're going to put zero here for the original price and i always just put zero for the original price unless it has a tag on it with an original price i just put um zero there all right so this one is a football foot ball vintage or let's do stickers Scratch and sniff. Category, stickers, good. Ship on your own. 125 on. Actually off. I turn off. Um, you can do automatic price drops. I don't do that. I turn that off. So let's do home. I like the arts and crafts because I think that hits more of an adult category. And these are definitely for the adult collector, not really for kids to just buy and scratch and sniff. That would be uh, a lot of money for a child to uh, just play with. Uh, if you guys missed this video, oh my goodness, you got to check out where I found these. I will uh, link it at the end and you guys can uh, check that out. It'll be in the description and it will also be on um, in the comments. How about that? trying to talk and do this at the same time. Let's see records. And we're going to go with, whoa, 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 no. Where do my stickers go? They move spots on me. Ooh, glad I caught that. So these were all in the $93 range with the sale on eBay. So I'm going to just change all these to the 125 and just keep it the same. So again, you guys, these are really, really hard to find stickers. These aren't the ones that are easy to come by. Um, that is why they are priced so high. And if you watch the video, um, I, I found these at the Goodwill bins. If you watch that video, you will see um, the ones that have already sold. So I'm not out of the ballpark on this. Um, if you don't know about vintage stickers, you may think I'm crazy right now. But uh, these stinky stickers sell. Stinky stickers. Uh, stickers. And this one is hang in there. Hang in there. Let's do vintage because I don't think anybody's going to search hang in there. Vintage. Category. Stickers. Good. So all of these items, once I am done here, six items are going to be cross-posted to both Mercari and Poshmark. Easy peasy. Um, list perfectly. I absolutely love it. I've been using it since 2019. And if you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And that is my referral code. And that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And I will link that down below the video that shows you how to use the catalog um, you can, you, you can check that out first and see if maybe you'd prefer to do it that way, or you can do it the way I do it. Um, either way is great. It's a great program. Um, so definitely take advantage of that coupon. I'm trying to talk and type and that is not working out very well for me. So if you guys have any questions about list perfectly, you can throw it down in the comments and I will do my best to answer. And if I can't answer, 
I will try to get you an answer. So I'm putting this one at 100 because I had it at 77 on eBay. All right. And we've got one more to put on Poshmark. And then we are going to be done with getting six items on two platforms just like that. And I will tell you when I'm not talking, I am quicker. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going so slow. But um, it's really a quick process. It's pretty cool. All right, you guys. That's it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an owl emoji down in the comments or just write the word hoot. Thanks for watching.